I'm laughing, but I want to cry. All right, we screwed up the cake, but we can fix it. So it's time to do step two of the cake, which is assembly of the cake. And we are going to do Jonathan's. We're gonna finish Jonathan's whole cake before we start Jordana's, just so that way, his cake is done by tomorrow. All right, guys, we are going to be using the buttercream recipe from the vanilla cake website. I was thinking about whether I wanted to put like a layer of chocolate icing with some vanilla icing and like, I, I feel like a lot of kids are fine with vanilla cake and vanilla icing. Some like chocolate, some don't. I'm just gonna keep all of the icing vanilla icing so that way if they just don't like the chocolate icing which like i'm not a huge fan of chocolate icing um so if they just if they don't like it then they don't have it in the layers and they just don't eat their chocolate layer um so we're gonna do that but um we're gonna keep the icing white on the inside so when we're attaching the different layers it's all gonna be white icing um and then the outside is where we're gonna color the icing which i've got to see I'm really hoping I still have that food coloring. So for one batch of icing, we need one cup of butter, three cups of powdered sugar. So we're putting the butter into the mixer and we're gonna cream it, which is basically just like blend the crap out of it until it's, you'll see it change consistency from normal butter to like fluffier. I'll show you. See how creamy that is? Yep. Hang on, buddy. I did that. You see it? Yep, I did it. Good. So we're just gonna wipe the sides down. Yeah. Get the bottom, because mm -hmm. mine doesn't always get the very bottom. We're just gonna whip it for about a minute more. Get all the butter off of there. All right, so now that we scrape the bottom, we're just gonna whip it for another minute um, and then we'll start adding the powdered sugar. I have this on setting five. So I'm gonna slow it down to a stir, because um, obviously if you add the powdered sugar when it's going really fast, you're gonna get powdered sugar everywhere. Since Joseph wants to help, okay. So I'm gonna show you as we add in the next. Here, Joseph. Ooh. Keep it in the bowl. Well, I will. Hang on. No, 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 no. Not yet. We need one more first. Oh, we need one more. Hang on. That wasn't quite half a cup. But not half a cup. There you go. So that's two full cups in there. Just one, just once. Leave it. Actually, one more. There, that's it. And now we're gonna add the last cup. Yep. We need some vanilla because it calls for mm -hmm. 
one tablespoon of vanilla up to three tablespoons of it's milk. Only mine. We're gonna start with one. And we're gonna see what it's like. Yeah, we're gonna give it a scrape all over just to get all the little bits that are stuck in hiding places. So I think we're gonna add one more. Yeah. No, no, one more tablespoon of milk. Yeah. Just to loosen up the, because it's pretty thick in there. We're gonna start assembling the cake, so I'm gonna move you over a little bit. This is our buttercream icing for putting the cake layers together and all that jazz. But, so, oh we have our arsenal. That's so the cake, cake sticks to that, which I bought that at Bulk Barn. Please. Watch out. Oh, actually, can you go clean up the mega blocks in the playroom first? Leave that here. You can come back, but you need to clean up your mess first. All right, then we need to cut a quarter of this cake off. All right, now I'm sure you're like, what are you doing? But if you remember the picture, we're making an army tank and I have icing all over me. So now we gotta do a good crumb coating because we actually have crumbs now. could have cut that a bit smaller but just to be simple and easy we are just leaving it like that
and I'm really hoping there's enough to cover. I don't think there is, but we can be hopeful. And we'll make it work. So we're gonna chill this while we make the next batch of icing. So now we're gonna make the outside icing, if that makes sense. <laughs> the icing for the outside of the cake. And we're actually gonna make a double batch because I want to make sure we have enough icing to do the entire cake. I want to make sure it's all the same color. The one batch did pretty much all of the like on top and the sides and stuff uh, but I just don't want to run short so we're gonna do a double batch and that way the color is all the same and we're not trying to get the exact same color again because that's pretty uh, that would be pretty hard to do all right so let's go ahead and cream this butter So I'm just gonna scrape the sides, get everything off, make sure all the butter is really creamed nicely, if that makes sense. All right, that looks really good. It smells delicious. I don't know, the smell of butter is amazing. Um, so we need six cups because we're doing a double batch. And we're gonna add them in one cup at a time. So that's one. We're gonna start it off with just stir until there's not a lot of loose powder. And then I just go up one notch. And when it's pretty much incorporated, we'll add the second cup in. going to add the milk and the vanilla now so it calls for like one tablespoon per batch so that's two but I am actually going to increase it to three because when I tasted the last one um, I just wanted a little bit more vanilla flavoring in there so so without adding any milk we're just gonna mix this in to see where we're at. So I'm going to add, I don't need any more vanilla, but I am going to add the last cup of icing sugar in. I have not added any milk in and I'm not sure that I'm going to. We'll see. Also, fun tip, if you want really white icing, you can actually get clear vanilla extract. Uh, you could also use like a clear almond extract, any kind of clear extract that you wanna flavor your buttercream with, doesn't have to be vanilla. Um, but if you get a clear one, then your icing actually stays white. And so if you're doing like a red color or something like that, it comes out like nice crisp colors. Um, the last time I went looking for it though, I didn't see it, so just at my grocery store. All right, before we add any coloring in, I am going to scrape the bowl, scrape every little part that I can, so that way we are starting with a nice uniform color. So that when we're coloring it, we don't have any surprises later on of like some icing sugar getting stuck somewhere. So we are gonna scrape this as clean as we can. The dye I wanted to use, I don't have. So we are going to use a combination of neon green and regular green, and we'll see what we come up with. We're just going for an army green, so we'll see. So I'm gonna start with five of the regular green just to see 
what we're working with. All right, that's barely put a dent in it. So we'll do 10 more. All right, so we've got like a pastel green. So let's do five more. All right, we're gonna go with like 10 more. All right, let's just see what this lime color does to it. All right, I added 10 drops of the lime. All right, let's see if we can add some more. One, two, three, four. I think four is all we got with some splatter and this is empty now. We'll add five of the neon. Actually, we'll add 10. All right, we're gonna try a couple things because this is coming out like pa pastel green, I think is the right color. Um, so we just wanna try to darken it. So I have a couple things we're gonna try. Actually, I found this. So let's add like three drops of blue and see what it does. That's going darker. Let's add a bit more. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'm liking it. Let's add five more. All right, we're going to go five more, and then I think we might just call it. It's not quite green. Like, it is green. It's still, like, pastel-y. Um, but there's really not much we can do about it. This is kind of what we're working with right now. And we're gonna scrape everything and see if we can find some hidden food coloring. We're gonna add more blue. And we're going with 10 drops. I don't know, I think I like that color. It's not quite army, uh, but it's pretty green. This is pretty bright. You know what? I was wondering that. We're gonna add a little bit of brown in. I have no idea how to measure this out. I just use a toothpick. Uh, but we're gonna put a dollop of brown in there and see if we can darken it. Let's see. Fingers crossed. All right. I think it got a little darker. We're going to put some more in. Yep. It's working. So we're going to add some more. Back up, please, buddy. This will stain your skin. Yep. You got to be careful. I might actually add just a little bit more. We're gambling here, guys. So we're going to scrape the sides again. This should be good. You can actually see the difference in the colors right here. That was our old color. This is our new color. And that, that's a nice color. That's so, a nice color. It is a nice color. It's taken a while to get this color guys, but I think we did it We're just gonna mix it up one last time All right, <clears throat> I'm happy with that I am very happy with that So that's the color we're sticking with All right guys here it is
I'm laughing, but I want to cry. Um, I didn't look at the picture all the way. Thank goodness we have another cake um, because we're gonna need to fix part of the cake. And I'll show you. All right, we screwed up the cake, but we can fix it. And I'm gonna show you how. We just didn't cut it properly. All right guys, our grievous error. We did not leave room to put the tread on the side. So I have a plan. We have our befuddled cake here. That's missing parts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this to the width of our tread. And we're just gonna slap it on the side. And we're just gonna slap it on the side. Alright, we're going to do this part last because it's crummy and you don't want to get crumbs in the butter uh, cream icing stuff. So this one's fine because there's no crumbs on it so we can do the whole... Oh, shoot! 